Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee and I'd like to introduce you to Little Ted because he was jealous that he didn't starve. Okay, so Little Ted has got several videos lined up for you. Well, he's got two actually. Um, yes, and uh, let's do the first one. Okay, so, oh there he is. Do you know, I knew I put it out. Little Teddy's going to have a tutu. Well, he's going to have three tutus. This is because um, the way we always made tutus has now changed and we only make them like something else. But if you can't get hold of the new stuff, then I wanted to show you how to get tutus traditionally. Now this is the netting. We've all seen it in craft shops and um, yeah so we're going to do traditional tutus so and he's going to have three because I'm going to do it three different ways so let's just cut off three strips now the reason I'm using strips is because I don't want it to be very long because he's only quite a small teddy bear I'm not suggesting that you can only do it with strips because of it's not true it's this is the old-fashioned way Oh, I'm waffling. Anyway, so I've got one strip, I've got two strips. And I think I can probably get away with cutting these strips in half. Cookie. So you can stay there and watch. I have my sewing machine set up as a normal sewing machine. There's nothing funky about this. If I was to grab a bit of cotton, it would work as cotton. And I'm going to take my strip, which is long enough for him, because he's only got short legs, and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just going to cut a little triangle there so I can mark out where I am. Now, the first way to do it is probably my favourite way. And I've got a mark halfway. And I have my elastic. And I'm... One, two, two down, really. Now. And you can see that would fold over and he would have quite a nice little tutu. Okay, so the second way. I have my line of, my um, square rectangle of tutu. And I'm folding it on half again. Now I am going to, string might be a bit harsh if we were making this for a child, I am going to place my string in between the two. So, and I'm going to put the rest of the ball on the floor. And then I'm going to fold it over and then fold this in half. So you can see where I'm going with this, nice and easy. 
and it really depends on you you know um, what have you got in your house um, do you want to go to the shop and buy something specific and then you can work on how how easy either one it is so what I've done now is I've done a good couple of stitches there over my string because believe it or not there is well there's loads of annoying things in this world but it's quite annoying when your string falls out um, okay so running stitch still okay making sure that you've got it placed how you want it so because you could fold it that you've deliberately put one side a bit smaller than the other and then when you put it on then it's it's floofier so here we go if the foot goes near the string it will actually push the string further into the fold so it is kind of quite quite good in a way and of course if you prefer you could do elastic where the string is okay so closing that off just a couple of stitches running over it and there we are and then what I can do is I can go back to the beginning grab my bit of string and then I can adjust the length by pulling both ends. again in the center um, you can do it at the edge I just think well why do it at the edge when you can do it in the center and then you've got two layers already so same with the marker I know exactly where the, well, where the center is and away I go so you can see that's puckering up nicely and if we just grab Ted we can put on a tutu and um, it's going to be nice and floofy because he's going to have three layers he's like a rich bear and um, maybe this clashes yeah, didn't think of that and then I just tie that up at the back the same with this one place it on and then tie it up at the back okay thank you for watching and uh, my name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee and hopefully I'll catch you again soon